What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back, and I have one final tutorial for the day, and one kind of final tutorial that I have predetermined in my head. I'll come up with more tutorials, obviously, for you guys. I'll probably have a crafting one and whatnot once I get delve, once I delve deep into that, that side of it, crafting and in-house building and all, all of, all of that good stuff. Once I delve into that, I will bring you guys a video on that. But the one final video tutorial I have for today, official release day, is a um, auto pathing. I was going to call this fast travel, but I ain't about that clickbait. I was going to put fast travel in, in parentheses, but it's not really fast travel. It's just auto pathing. So when you select a quest, such as the owls threaten the village or something along that line. Um, let's see, where's the one I actually have to do? So collecting materials, um, you'll see the marker on the map. You can see it top Right above me here, you see that blue little sign. Um, that's telling you where you need to go. And then you can also see the blue lines there. So what you'll need to do is just go ahead and take the left stick here, press it down, and it auto map. It auto runs for you. Or it auto jogs for you. And it'll auto map all the way, or auto path all the way to where you want to go. The issue with auto pathing is it's a little wonky. It'll run you into some stupid areas or get caught on a wall or whatnot. Um, I don't want to run into there. Uh, so it's a little bit clunky, but it, it does work. I'm going to go ahead and select it, an area over here. If you go into the menu, you can hit X to place down a navigation thing. And then hit the stick in to start auto uh, tracking again. If you hold down left trigger, it will run for you. Uh, this is always the slower route if you just, I guess if you just press left trigger and it'll run for you. That allows you to do inventory management and other things you may want to do uh, during uh, your, your movement to another area. Kind of a time efficiency, I guess, is what it gives you. It'll run you in here, um, but there's always potential you get like caught on a rock or whatever. And... Um, yeah! It screws up the auto pathing because if you auto path into a rock, so say it wanted you to go up here, but the auto pathing was telling you to go through this rock, it'll just sit here and run through this rock. You'll have to automat, you'll have to auto take it and or not auto, you'll have to manually go and move it out of the way so that it gets past the rock. But it is generally a positive uh, thing um, to auto path. I do it a lot to inventory manage while I'm traveling from location to location, or I use it to get from large scale areas. So I was helping a friend who just started the game and obviously I'm way here. And when you start the game, you're way over here. And so he was actually over in this area. So obviously I can just set my marker down like that and it'll auto path me all the way there to, to where he is. Um, so that's what I was doing. So that was that's really nice for that. Then you don't have to manually run. You can go get a snack or get a drink real quick and uh, come back and you should be where you marked. Uh, try to mark yourself onto a road so it doesn't auto map you too harshly into bad areas. Um, it tends to stick to the roads and the navigation where, where it wants you to go instead of taking direct routes. But every once in a while, it will take a more direct route and put you in a little bit of harm's way if you're not paying attention. Uh, but that's how you auto path. Uh, it's the best thing we have for fast travel. Um, and it's really the only thing. It also works on the horse. I don't actually think I have my horse. I don't think my horse is close enough to call, but we'll see. Um, left trigger. Oh, that's the wrong thing. There we go. I think my horse is too far away. Yeah, it does work on your horse as well. Um, it will auto track it on the horse as well. So that that's another thing you can do. Obviously, I can't show you because my stupid horse is too far away. But you'll have to take my word on it. You can do it on a horse uh, just the same as you would do it walking. It works the exact same. Horse gets caught a little bit more than the person, so keep that in mind. But guys, hope you all enjoyed the video. Drop it a big old like if you did. Subscribe if you have not. And I will catch you guys in the next Black Desert video. Peace!